Hi everyone, great to be with you. Um, we are looking at some passages from the Gospel of Mark and uh, today we're going to look at Mark chapter 1 verses 14 and 15 and those verses say this. After John was put in prison, John the Baptist that is, Jesus went into Galilee proclaiming the good news of God. The time has come, he said, the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe the good news. There are four things in those few lines that I think we really need to drink in. The first one is, the kingdom of God has come near. Jesus had arrived and the kingdom came with him. The second is repent. The third thing is believe. And the fourth thing is, there is good news. And there are probably four separate sermons, full length sermons, that could be preached from those, those topics. And unfortunately I don't have the time to do that right now. So. I just want to remind us of one thing today, and that is that the kingdom of God is near. We need to understand that with every fibre of our being. We need to know that with every ounce of our strength and all the understanding that we can muster. We need to live like that statement is a known and quantifiable fact. We need to believe it like it's undeniable. We need to trust it like we would trust the strongest bridge over the smallest stream. Because if we can do that, repentance, turning away from the things that we've done wrong, our, our unhealthy choices and lifestyles, becomes so much easier. The journey from earthly life into eternal salvation, eternal life, is much, much simpler and much more straightforward. The business of walking closely with Jesus is much, much simpler too. And the complex business of, of repentance and unhealthy lifestyles, as I've already said, becomes much, much easier too. See, whilst we live on earth and live our corporeal bodily life, we can't pass through the veil into that heavenly realm. But it still remains there, right next to us. And we need to remember that the bridge between one and the other is found in Jesus, by whose stripes we are healed. He is the one we need to trust. He is the one that we need to acknowledge. He is the one who made it possible for us to be connected with the kingdom of heaven. That's it. Just know him and know that the kingdom of God is right near. Let's pray together, shall we? Lord Jesus, we pray that the knowledge of you and of the kingdom of heaven would be firmly embedded in each of us today. Come and release that knowledge to each of us supernaturally, we ask, right now. May we always walk in the knowledge that heaven is but a breath away from us and that the power and blessings that you want for us, that you won for us on the cross, are always ours to claim. Help us, Lord, to walk with you to know you, to know your kingdom, now and always, we ask, in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.